Welcome to the Vet Boutique Hotel Sang Campaign, Chiang Mai. Yes, looks wonderful, doesn't it? Flashy drone shots, uplifting music. Well, no. It was hell getting to this point, and I'm going to take you back a bit. Way back, before the last video that tanked... No, not Wednesday. Yes, there, where the story began. Thursday, the 25th of July. While blissfully online shopping and eating my morning porridge, I saw a premonition and heard a mysterious voice. You will search the four corners of this land for half-decent content for your poor subscribers. Enlightened by this vision, I arranged some property tours that would almost certainly bag me a million views. I awoke the next morning full of excitement and enthusiasm, bade farewell to Bob and ventured forth on this new exciting adventure. That's when everything turned to shit. Starting with a nail in the tyre which was promptly fixed by the friendly staff at Be Quick, then came the driving relentless rain. Next, a perplexing incident involving a bit of light mincing, three red dragon fruit, this, a Google self-diagnosis, sure that I had only three weeks to live, and then freaking out with a full system flush. What followed was stopping at every toilet from Lampang to Chiang Mai, with a few nature stops along the way, giving me ample time to make an impulsive purchase or two. Relieved after reading that red dragon fruit can turn your piss red, I fantasized about the amazing containers I'd arranged to see in Chiang Mai and the one million views they would attain. Containers, there we go. Unfortunately, upon arrival, I was greeted with a quagmire of mud and a few old rusty containers. Now, undeterred, I headed across town to my backup luxury container showroom. For fuck's sake. After a house viewing was also cancelled, later that day I was beginning to miss Bob and feel rather dejected. All these failures along with the pink piss episode made me weary and in need for a room to cry myself to sleep. Scrolling through a goda, I happened to chance upon a 3 star hotel with a massive 9.2 rating, the best overall guest rating in its category, which brings us back to the Vet Boutique Hotel, the best budget hotel in Chiang Mai and maybe the worst hotel review you will ever see on YouTube. Right, let's go and check in. The vet. Look at that. Fantastic. I see a giraffe. Must be us. Your hotel has very good rating. So I do the review of the best hotel in San Campeng. Alright. Are you actually a vet? You're not a vet, you don't have the, the surgery for the animal? No. Okay, so we'll go for the deluxe. Can you see, see your room? I'll have a look, yeah, I'll have a look first. Yeah, check there aren't any cats in there, or dogs, or giraffes even. All right. Thank you. Yes, visibly impressed by my witty retorts, I secured the room which was more than acceptable and then proceeded to impress the staff with my Thai language skills. True, true, I like it. Why? Why? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Similar Tamaya. No. Tamaya different. Huh? Tamai in Thai. No, 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 no. Okay. Why? Letter Y. y. No, that. W I N E. W I. Oh, wine. Yeah. Oh, you like wine. Shop, no, mate. Shop, kin, mate. My. My shop, my shop. Okay. My mother. <laughs> all right. Okay. All right. All right. Let's <laughs> check in. I can use the swimming pool. Yeah, you can. I haven't brought my budgie smugglers, but anyway. Oh, I don't have. Okay. I don't have, but uh, maybe I buy oh. in Chiang Mai. I don't know. I go out. You can see? Oh, have a look, yeah. Have a little tour from wine. So you've got a little kiddies area here too? Yeah. All right. You keep All right, okay. Oh, and you've got a gym here? Yeah. Wow. It's cool, isn't it? All right, let's have a little look. There you go, you've got your running machines and a good selection of weights. Wow, all right. I mean, you sit, you sit, you sit, you Nice lap pool, you can definitely do some laps in here. Look at that. All right, where's she gone? Yeah, I honestly thought there might be like a vet surgery next door or something, but there are no animals. I don't know, I'll have a good look at the room. Check and see. You get a nice assortment of uh, snacks, well stocked. You got some beers. How much is a small, a small Leo? Is seventy baht, reasonably priced. Yeah. All right. Is there Seven Eleven around here? 
กี่กิโลเมตรประมาณหนึ่งวันวันได้วันกิโลวันกิโลวันได้วอล์กไม่ใช่ตรงนี้โอเคโอเคนี่คือวอล์กขอบคุณที่มาขอบคุณที่มาขอบคุณที่มาขอบคุณที่มาขอบคุณที่มา Thank you. Gave a tip as well, 100 baht. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think I'm, you want to carry me. You can carry me or me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay, cap, come cap. Hello, sweetie. Hello, cap. Thank you very much. Was that a cockerel or a giraffe? I can never escape the cockerels. It's quite a nice cock crawler, it's not too, not too grating. Anyway, you can never escape them. Right, so you got a little wardrobe to the left. Nice bit of Hugh Hefner. Sound production, take two. Action! We've got this wardrobe uh, to the left. Have we got any Hugh Hefner? Yeah, we've got a Hugh Hefner dressing gown which is always good to see. We've got an umbrella in there as well. And we've got these sideboards, light wood color. Kind of liking that, these little mini fridge. Have we got any water? Got no water. Oh, I've got some complimentary things here. Four bottles of water, kettle, and a decent sized bed. I don't know why I've got like a, a little kiddie's bed. I don't know, anyway, it was here. So in case I fall out, you never know what's gonna happen, but let's give it a try. Oh. It's all right, it's not too hard, not too soft. The bed looks quite cozy. It's got this like shiny thing going on here. And it's, it's, pretty, t it's pretty comfortable. And it's got this like studded headboard, look at that. Eh? So uh, yeah, a little fridge. It's spacious. I mean, you know, you get quite a lot of, a lot of space from the, from the bed to the TV. Daikin aircon can't go wrong. When I see a Daikin aircon, I know it's going to be a quiet night. With a bit of art, a module, and a lamp. And uh, in fact, we get a mountain view as well, with the price of the room. Ah. Nestling behind the clouds. I'm not sure if that is Deutsche Tepe or not. I don't know. Someone can correct me if I'm wrong. But the cockerel has gone to sleep, thank goodness. Anyway. So yeah, nice and clean, nice and tidy. Toilet's a good size as well. Clean taps, fittings, yeah, a tidy floor, glass partition, and a decent looking shower, yeah. Get a, yeah, get a party of four in there, I reckon. So I want it all. all. Very happy for 800, 850 baht. Very good. All right. On a serious note, this is a wonderful little hotel. You can pick up a spotlessly clean, well-equipped room for under $20 a night with a fantastic lap pool, a comfy feline-themed entrance area, complimentary tea and coffee, welcoming drink, golf buggy to and from your car, and above all, the wonderful staff. Not just wine, but all the staff I encountered. It's perfect for hitting local attractions in San Campeng, which will be a whole new other video experience for you in the future. So for all those reasons mentioned, I give the Vet Boutique Hotel a 9.4 out of 10. Now room review completed and being a true professional, I headed to the front of the hotel to take some extra footage and record general information about this wonderful establishment and its local surroundings. Raining. Frack. Undeterred, I borrowed the hotel's umbrella and managed to pull off uh, this fantastic camera shot of a hedge in the rain. Then things got progressively worse. So we are in the, kind of in the middle of nowhere, but kind of not. So there are no animals in there and we are outside. It's very well kept, look at that. Very nice hedge, I do like the hedge. Bloody hell. So there's a metal works there if you need to get something fixed. There's a coffee shop and there's a happy leaf sign. And it looks like we've got evening noodles, which I might come out and get a bit later on. And apparently there's a 7-Eleven down here. But I'm gonna have to walk in the motorbike lane. 
which is, uh, I'm not sure I'm going to do that, to be honest. And not on your Nelly, mate. Clutching at straws, I thought the only way to save the day was for a noodle segment and to wow the locals again with my formidable Thai language skills. Oi. Uh, me learn Nam, me mate. Me learn Nam. Oh, Nam. Me, me learn Nam. Me learn Nam. Oh, me learn Nam. Oh, me learn Nam. Okay. All right. Got there in the end. Okay. We're just one. Yeah. Okay. Goodness me. <laughs> Bloke thought I was looking for the toilet. Anyway. That's alright, isn't it? There we go. Oh, very nice. That soup is hotter than the sun. Um, yeah, quite a lot of rain coming down. Oh, that was a bit of a disaster. The tent things in the noodle place collapsed. So, uh, luckily I saved my camera because it's not waterproof. So my little vision I had from having my porridge has brought me to this point and uh, I'm not going to mind. It happens, maybe just gives you an insight into, uh, it's not always easy doing this stuff. And, uh, but tomorrow's another day, hopefully it's sunny and uh, I can go and visit some housing projects and yeah, get, get some good content for you guys. So on that note, positive note, I'm going to say stay safe, stay well and I'll see you in the next video.